Now, my next guest is one of the stars of ITV's newest costume drama. It made its debut last night, and an impressive 7.7 .7 million of you tuned in. Here's a taste of Downton Abbey. Do you find me very ridiculous, Mrs. Hughes? Putting on airs and graces I've no right to. What's brought this on? At times I wonder if I'm just a sad old fool. Mr. Carson, you are a man of integrity and honour. You raise the tone of this household by being part of it. So no more of that, please. Oh, please welcome the housekeeper, Mrs. Hughes, Phyllis Logan. <laughs> Phyllis, to sit down last night, having seen the trails for I don't know how long. I know. And to sit down at nine o'clock, this is really good. It was beautifully shot, beautifully acted, well written. What did you feel like when you were offered the part? Well, oh, I was just desperate to get it, really. Um, when I read the scripts, of course, we all know Julian Fellows, I'm sure, from... Gosford Park. Gosford Park, the Oscar-winning Julian mm. Fellows. And when I read the scripts, I thought, this is the most fabulous thing I've read in a long, long time. He's so clever at doing fantastic broad brush strokes, but getting really fine detail into it as well, about character and place. And, yeah, it's just... Was great, so I was thrilled when they said. We're talking of places. Place. I mean, Highclere Castle, though, with um, Lord Carnarvon, which is near Newbury, isn't it? That's right. Yes. Now the exteriors are filmed there. Are the interiors filmed there as well? No. Well, some of them are. The some state, of them. State rooms are they? There? Yes, they yeah. are. Like the dining room um, and the huge, wonderful, big hallway yeah. area. But most of the interiors are shot. Well, certainly the downstairs at Ealing Studios. Which was a, a joy as a well. Culture shock. So you really are up there, down as you go. Definitely. To yeah, and we're slumming it down, yeah. e down, Ealing way. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're playing. I've got to ask because everybody who has ever worked with Maggie Smith says Maggie Smith. I mean, what she like to work with? Well, I'm very fortunate that I. This is the second time I've I've worked with her. I did work with her uh, in a similar period drama a uh, number of years ago. Um, but I don't have a lot to do with her, unfortunately. Because you're downstairs. Because I'm she's, downstairs yeah. and she's the Dowager Countess. Mm. You know, I don't really... We, she doesn't have much truck with the likes of me, sadly. But, uh, yeah, no, she's great. We did pass yeah. each other in the makeup trailer, you know, on occasion. She does imperious like nobody does imperious. She really. certainly <laughs> does. She certainly does. It's uh, classic. It's Julian fantastic. was very keen that details should be right. Yes. And, and that, to be fair to everybody across the board, the design team, the costume team, the makeup, have got it absolutely precisely. And we also have a historical advisor who you know, if you do, if he see, sees you doing one thing out of place, he'll be on you like a ton of bricks. Now, isn't that a pain? That's a bit of a pressure, isn't it? An additional pressure on an actor when you're thinking, I can't just do this as me being the character. I've got to do it as me being the character back in 1912. But that's quite good. It gives you, it, it sort of restrain. you'd think of it as a restriction, but it's not actually, because you think, ah, this is great, because it gives me an added, added dimension to my character, because I might have done it a bit you know, sitting like this, of course you can't, you know, with a corset on, oh my God, no. <laughs> and those are killers, the corsets. So even the, even the downstairs stuff where the corsets are, it's not just yes. the women in the fine No, clothes. even Mrs. Patmore, the cook, you, you know, even she's got her corset on. It was just the, the, the way you wear those. I wish you'd have a word with Rosemary Schrager. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. I, must, I must pass on the tip. <laughs> do, you, do you still get people coming up to you, though, Phyllis, and still thinking you're Lady Jane Felsham from Lovejoy? I mean, is that oh, still happening? Yes. Uh, do you mind? That, do I mind? No, not a bit. Because you weren't Scottish bit. in that. No, I wasn't. I was very posh English, yes. And I remember the first time at meeting you years and years and years ago. Do you remember that yeah, at Pebble Mill? we did. All those but, years ago. But you, and, you, and you spoke, this, and of course I'd only seen you in that at that point. And I said, well, hang on, do you mean that's not your real voice? You know, you, <laughs> which I felt a bit I stupid about saying, but you do tend to believe in the people that you are. Well, that's very, yes, that's very, no, that was a great show. It was nothing, it was just a laugh from start to yeah. finish. I loved every minute of it. With it was, McShane doing his bit as the With road. McShane, who is now going to be in the, the next Pirates of the Caribbean film, playing with, Black, Blackbeard. With your husband. With my man.
Kevin yes. McNally. That's right. Who plays, I've forgotten the name of his character, but he's been in... Josh me Gibbs. That's, that's why I forgot the name of his character. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you get to go out to the Caribbean then, with him? Uh, I ha we have done, yes. Yeah. And uh, he was in Hawaii recently. Oh, drat. So we had oh. to go there. And there were you in Ealing. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I know. Oh, you got to go there, right? <laughs> Yeah, just very briefly. Yeah. But yes, and so I met up with Mick Sheen after all these. I hadn't seen him for years, so that was nice. How wonderful meeting yeah. up. How many episodes have we got of I think you've got, I think there's another six, but keep watching because uh, there are some fantastic storylines coming up and everybody gets a crack at the whip, you know, mm -hmm. all the downstairs, upstairs, everybody. Fantastic, juicy storylines. We should look forward to Sunday nights being pleasurable for at least you know, a month and a half. Ladies yes. and gentlemen, <laughs> Phyllis Logan. <laughs>